Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Yumurangi Generation. Now this was developed by Ori Game Digital, published by Playerism and is usually available for £18.89 slash $25 uh, which is a bit of a whopper but it's actually free right now if you have Xbox Game Pass so as I always say go go get Game Pass. <laughs> yeah. So, this is a rather unique title. It's a first-person photography type game, very much like the Paparazzi game also on Game Pass, except this one actually works. Oy. Through eight levels, you're gonna see the city you enter, all the cities you enter are off the back of an impending crisis. There's war, robot shooting, some other stuff. It's weirdly fun and easy achievements to boot. So for the majority of achievements, um, basically you'll get the majority for completing the level by doing all main and bonus objectives in less than 10 minutes. Don't worry, that is plenty of time. Trust me. By doing that, you unlock more lens and other camera -y bits. There are also eight missable achievements. Again, very simple, but two we'll just end up grabbing at the end of the game as we need specific lenses for them. So there we go, guys and gals. Hopefully, if you can keep up with the vid without pausing too much, we can get this done in around an hour or so. So, with that being said, then, let us begin. So, this is the first level. We're going to select new game. We're going to select the level... Mawawvu. Mawawvu. Mawu? I'm going to butcher so many words in this game, so I hope you're... <laughs> I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. So let me just quickly explain how the camera works then. You press the left trigger to aim, the right trigger to take the picture. What you can also do is press up or down on the D-pad to zoom in and out. And you can press left and right on the D-pad. That will adjust the focus. So what we're going to be doing is getting a miserable achievement straight away pretty much. So what we have to do is jump up with that little symbol is, as we try not to fall. Uh, that's basically the postcard symbol. So now when you press the start button... Um, again, double uh, press the A button and double A button to jump. Can be kind of finicky, the platforming section sometimes. It's just something you got to get used to. But if you press the start button, you can see a list of your main objectives and your bonus objectives. We need to do all them in under 10 minutes, which is fine. That is plenty of time, like I said. So for the first missable achievement then, you can see the counter in the top left-hand corner after we get off here. And what we need to do is wait until the counter gets to 59, and then you need to take a picture of the sky... Uh, basically as the jets are flying overhead so as soon as it hits 59 press the left trigger now and then the right trigger quick as you can job done if you miss it stay here for another minute that is fine they normally fly overhead every minute or just start the level again so we're going to grab the first bounty or the first you know main objective take a picture of these sort of seven birds here so take a picture of the main area and you should fit in seven birds a couple of seagulls and your penguin friend you'll also get an achievement for um taking a picture of your penguin that's pretty much unmissable but i um already unlocked it so nay mind right go backwards right here just behind your friends press the right and left d-pad there to adjust the zoom and take a picture of the markers and the disposable camera so that should be two bounties that you've got there the two markers and the disposable camera right what we need to do is go into the area over the graffiti wall so it's just behind this fence in this little gap here let's take a picture now of the union jack skateboard that's nice um, now, you can press, the, every time you take a picture, you can just press a, the start button as we take a picture of this mixtape right by the boombox. My mix, little mix. Now, if I had to listen to little mix continuously, I'd have to scrape my ears off. Right, so there you go. There's the start button. If you press X, you can bring up the postcard of what you actually need to take in order to um, complete that objective. But take a picture of this disposable camera. Right bumper, left bumper, by the way, that just um, adjusts the camera left and right. Uh, I don't really need that. So what we're going to do then, we're going to go over here. We're going to take a picture of the mountain. Mount Mau Mau. Mayamu. Again, buttering everything I am. Go back, take a picture of these two boom boxes. That's job done. Now, that should be all of the main objectives complete if you press the start button there. So as you can see then, the bonus objectives, normally the same in every level. Find film canisters, take a photo of your friends earn so much money and recreate the postcard so again as you can see if you press the x button now or when you press the start button that is where you that, that is the picture exact picture you need so the first film there is right by the graffiti wall and the second one is on this skate ramp so we're gonna head up and jump up again apologies this is going fast but it's going a million miles a minute 
Luckily, the um, bit of weird platforming slows it down some. So now we jump back over here. Now, again, if you press the start button and then the X button, you'll see exactly how you need to recreate the postcard. So press the B button to crouch right about here. And you just need the one seagull on the right in the view of the board. So that is it. So as soon as that bonus objective is complete, it will tell you. Uh, just go up this ramp here very, very carefully. Pick up the next film. So that should be number three out of number nine all found. Right, um, number four. I'm j now, taking a picture of your friends has to include the penguin as well. Can be a bit tricky, but I'll show you the best way we do that. The fourth film is again behind your friends where the markers are. So pick up that film. Uh, <laughs> I'm too fan old for this. Pick up the next film there found just behind the seagulls. And we're going to stay in this area, but we're going to turn around. And we're going to go up these weird block step type things. We're going to go over to the graffitied wall and jump over it. Oh, man. This genuinely does. <laughs> so, again, apologies that it is kind of fast commentary and fast paced. Pick up the film there behind the paint can. Um, but, yeah, this is um, kind of coming at us faster than a toupee in a hurricane. <laughs> so, we're going to jump down and go down the stairs now. Turn the corner. Just by the boom box here is the next film. That'll be number seven out of eight. Uh, seven out of nine. Keep going. Number eight is going to be just around this corner by this next paint can. Spray can. And then the final one is found just on this skate ramp. So slap that up. Whatever you put in them, I want to know. But uh, what we're going to do then, we need to, of course, earn $130 dues. So just keep taking random pictures until you keep getting the money up. By the way, I'm wondering, do normal people take pictures like this with their arms so stretched out? We don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Very funny. At least the game works, like I said, unlike uh, some kind of dog photography game that we all know which one that is. <laughs> so I'm just, um, I'm actually trying to get a picture of the photo of friends. So what you'd need, if you wanted to, <laughs> there you go, I've earned the $130. If you need to do this easier, you'll have to wait and come back later until we get the fisheye lens. But if you want an easier way of doing it, we're going to go back up to where we got the postcard one a little earlier on. And it's very, very... You can just about do it, as I <laughs> fail ever so miserably. Again, ignore the time there in the top left-hand corner for me. Um, obviously, I've just been doing a little, a few things and messing up as well, which always is handy. So come back to the postcard section then. And then what you can do is take a picture right there. Just make sure that you've got the penguin and all three bodies in. So that is what it should look like. You don't have to get the full body in, but you should be able to get um, all four in. As soon as you've got the bonus objectives complete, then we can just go over to the red bit there. Um, press the X button to finish, and ba -ba -ba bam, job done. So you should get the speedrun achievement as well. If not, well, you can just come back to it, and we will get that achievement. Anyway, we also get the telephoto lens now, which basically, when you put that on, it's like an extreme close-up. And we get a third achievement there called the Flashbox. Look at my Flashbox. It's a Flashbox mode. Which illuminates dark areas by using a Flashbox, um, which we never need. Or oh, I don't use it at all throughout the game. So, welcome to Otto Mo Sizlak Tai. And, well, no rest for the wicked, is there? No, we're just carrying on. <laughs> we're going nerds. Right, so go. So, where we start, turn directly behind you. And then just keep following the path, the sort of li linear path, until we get to these two guys. And we're going to take a picture of the shark tank. If you press the start button and turn off photo mode, then you won't get that menu on the left-hand corner every time you take a picture. Just to let you know. Uh, take a picture of the sharky tank, the bomb thingamajigger right there. And that'll be the first objective. Um, I just grabbed these other two there for a little bit of extra mono. And this guy looking sad. Oh, uh, no. Alright, so from here then, we're going to go up this little ramp. We're going to take a picture of the skull and the knife. Ah, oh, so you've played Scully Knifey before. That's not a skull, that's a spoon. Right, pick up the film anyway from here as well by the boom box. That's the first of six that is done. Next, we're going to take a picture of the... Uh, just boom box again, just a, a little bit more money. Right, we need to jump up onto this little piece of wood or something right there. So make sure to jump up there. Jump up to the rooftop to grab the second film. Now we can just jump down. We're going to recreate the next postcard. So again, press the X button, uh, press the start button, and then the X button to see what you need. But all we do need is just a picture of the penguin. But you have to do it in such a way. So if the penguin looks kind of close to the top of the camera, that's just what you need to do. So you know, sort of have a have a mess around with it, a little bit of a fidget around, uh, sort of move 
ever so slightly. But as soon as that's done, we can then move on. So grab the postcard. Jump down to where your friend's sitting on the pile of poop. Because that generally looks like poop. We're going to jump down. We're going to take a picture of these three right here. Because that is a picture of our friendly eyes. So again, sometimes if it doesn't work, just, um, you know, go up a little bit, down a little bit, whatever. Uh, it will eventually work. Just make sure to take a picture of those. Take a picture of these three guys sitting down with some lit cigarettes. Now, next to this guy on the left, there is a pizza roll. So get, uh, make sure to zoom right in, get your focus sorted, and that will be the pizza roll achievement slamming. Right, now we need to get uh, pick up the third film from directly behind us next to these UN tents. Un. So that is the third one. We're going to head back to our friends. And this time we're going to go across the board. Arr, walk the plank, you little bastard. Right, to go to the left, we're going to uh, go past these solar panels, pick up the fourth film found on the edge. So that will be number four out of six. Go down to this area, but before heading all the way, turn directly around and just take a picture of the three demons. The three of which are many children, all demon spawns. Right, go behind you once again. From here, we're going to go up the steps. And again, by the way, press the right bumper and left bumper if you want to change your photo lens as well. So grab the fifth out of six film just before we head up. Now, what you need to do, you need to take a picture of ten solar panels, but you have to do them specifically. So just taking a picture like this does not work. So we need to jump up on the sort of corner of the fence just behind us. So again, just be careful to jump up here. Turn around, press the right bumper there to go into your telephoto lens. Then we need to get the focus correct, beautiful, and looking hot. Why oh, it's so hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we can take a picture, and as soon as you hear that little uh, noise, that means we got the bounty complete. Ten solar panels all done. Uh, we need to take a picture of a UN sarcastic message. That's not the UN sarcastic message. Uh, but again, as you can see, we've only got one left to grab and to get the rest of the film canisters. So again, always just be double checking that you're on the sort of same route that I am right here. So we're going to jump down to where our pal is, go down the steps, and this is where the UN secret sarcastic message is. So I don't even think you have to adjust the focus sometimes. I think it just works if it doesn't. Now, I accidentally fall down here. Um, I accidentally come up, end up falling down, and then where I go is just... Yeah, so as you can see, we're right back to where we got the photo of the 10 solar panels. So, what you need to do, you need to come back up anyway, right back to where our friend was. So, basically, just right just up, up to where we just found the UN message. Go across these little boards, and then pick up the film. That'll be all films found. So, as you can see, you know where to come. Um... We've just literally come from where our friend is and where that UN message is. So jump up there to grab that. When you've got that last film, we just need to take a picture of some duct tape. And as it turns out, how many times can I say come in a one video? Come, 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 come. Right, what we're going to do is head left from he from there, so where we just came. Back past the guys with the three cigarettes. Can't say fags anymore. People will get offended by that. Uh, go all the way until you see the Sully's Angel sign. And jump in right here. What you need to do is get your photo telephoto lens out, focus, and make sure to take a picture just of the duct tape. It has to be just of the duct tape. If anything else is in it, it will not work. So zoom in as much as you can, walk about until you get the perfect angle, and skablam. So again, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it can be a little bit finicky. So again, like I said, have a little play around. But that should be all main and bonus objectives done. Now we can just fall to our death, Assassin's Creed, suicide style. Except, of course, <laughs> there's no death in this game. As soon as we come here, we can deliver the parcel, and that is the second out of eight levels done. So, my gosh, we're flying. I, I need to take a break. My, my, my throat. She is dry from talking too much. Which, of course, I wonder how many people are going to tell me that they're pissed off for listening to my voice because I talk too much. Anyway, you'll get the achievement there called <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. With me saying come so many times and dirty. Like dirt, like dirty. You come into the bath because you're dirty, that type of stuff. Anyway, we're on to the third. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a picture immediately as we start of this bird and cat. So go into your telephoto lens. And the cat and bird, the bird will be just on the gate, the cat will be just to the right of it, so we can get that one out of the way already. 
And every time that you start a new level, you have to turn photo mode off and you have to turn off the screenshot, all that. You have to just do that again. Go to where the cat is on the right and pick up the first out of eight films and then turn around to see dude sitting on the tire. Pick up the second film, just up these steps. Go to this area with the two people. Turn around and then you need to take a picture. Try and get everything in. There's 15 candles we need to grab. So as you can see, the little tiny, tiny candles, so that would be one bounty complete, and the fourth feather icons as well. So you should get that as long as you get right into the back corner and take a lovely little photo. This is where we're going to get one of the missable achievements later on, but we can't get it yet without the fisheye lens. Also, make sure to get the group shot here as well, so your three friends just chilling there. Make sure to grab that. Then the film, which is in the water right there, make sure to grab the, the um, third film. So that should have been the group shot, two main objectives, and the third film. Now we can jump up, and we'll just go straight. I'm just taking a picture for money purposes there, it makes no difference. We're going to go straight, 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 past the fire. There's a couple of bits of graffiti on the wall. And we can jump up to this little area, take a picture of the octopi, tentapi type ting pie. Mmm, octopi. Right, so that'll be one bounty complete, the main objective complete. Film number four is right there. Later on, we're going to come up these stairs and get another missable achievement. But for now, we're going to turn around, go into this little alleyway, turn to the left. And right in front of us, just to the right of the generator on the boxes, is film number five. On the boxes on the left is film number six. So now we can go back to the area that we just came. And there we go. Right, now we're going to head up the old wooden pairs. And, oh, look, we need a postcard. Postcard shot to do. Right, so... It is taking a picture of the pipe just above us right there. So get out your telephoto. Again, right bumper and left bumper to change it. Get out your telephoto. And that should be the postcard shot. Again, have a little double check. Press the X button when you press start right there. That should be that. Make sure there that you're on the ma same main and bonus objectives that I am. Otherwise, you're going to head, jump back. And we need to take a picture of the word cops. Now, this can be kind of finicky. It took me a while to get this one. At least a sort of minute. So as long as you've got the word cops right in there. Um, again, it can be very finicky. But you should get that done. So we can just jump straight down. You know these guys. We're going to turn around right here. Take a picture. When we're sort of far enough away. Focus them in. Take a picture of the bikes. Zoom out. And then what you should get is the four bikes. And you should get the butterfly one as well. So there we go, a butterfly. So now we should have all main quests done. Now we just have to do the um, uh, side quests, or the bonus objectives, as it were. So we can keep heading straight down, away from the bikers, all the way down. And we're going to go to the right, just underneath this burnt van and this bit of whatever the hell that is. We're going to pick up film number seven. Now from here, we're going to jump up to where that guy looks like he's taking a whiz, to be honest. Excuse me, buddy, if you could put your wiener away. We're just trying to get a, just trying to get the eighth film right there. Oh, it's so small, I can't even see it. Right, pick up the film there from the stairs, and that is all bonus obje objectives complete. Um, oh, it's almost all. We have to earn $150 each, so we can have a bit of a reprieve. Um, so just keep taking the pictures of absolutely everything. You know, try and find something that gives you quite a bit of money. Um, there'll be some shots that can give you a tenner, twelve dollars, and do a flat debt. Otherwise, just keep spamming around and uh, yeah, keep heading, keep heading back. What I would do if you still need to do this is head back to the to where we can finish the level. Um, obviously, with the red squares. Um, that is where I would start heading back while I take pictures as well, um, just so it makes it easier. So you're not you know too far away from the exit, as it were. Now, this is the area where we're going to take, go in to get the hidden period. Uh, hidden period? <laughs> oh, you can't hide them. Hidden pyramid achievement a lot later on. But we don't have, we can't jump up enough quite yet. We don't get that until the uh, penultimate level of the game. So, we're going to come back to that later. Right, so the finish is basically where our friends are. So, again, I'm just taking a whole bunch of pictures. Like I said, the, the speed running achievement in under 10 minutes, it, it's... Genuinely very, very easy. Um, you'll never really need to rush that much. So, well, life will be good, wasn't it? Highway men! Hell, <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal would have been happy with that if Heath Ledger was still about. Um, well, just keep taking some pictures. Keep enjoying it. Keep loving the life. We're almost there. Hello, buddy! 
That's a great face, a great mask as well. You can take your mask off now, pal, if you want. Oh, I'm not going to get in an argument with the masks and... Oh, God, no. Oh, Christ, can't be doing that. Right, make sure that you've got everything complete and then we can just end the level as people start arguing about masks and if they're good and if they work or not. Hey, <laughs> I'm not getting involved in your argument. Now we have the wide-angle lens, which just reminds me of that one South Park episode, to be honest. Wide-angle lens. Dogs with hats with wide-angle lens. Well done, Craig. Or was that Clyde? Ah, oh, damn it, I forget which one. Anyway, we should have two achievements. Oh, not a very big South Park fan, if I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, when we get the two achievements, <laughs> sorry, now we're going to go on. Um, the autofocus, all the hacks and stuff, I literally don't use at all. We just, you know, uh, change the lens, and that's pretty much about it. Right, we're going to get a couple of achievements straight off the bat here for the strand level. We're going to walk back, go into your telephoto, and we need to get at least the word gamers set in seven different things. So roughly about there, you can see there's four gamers hideout, four gamers, buy gamers, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure to get that bounty. That is unmissable because you have to do it anyway. Then take a picture of the dog sign on the top left-hand corner. God damn screenshots. Again, every level, turn off the photo mode in, in the start menu. Then stay in here, get the telephoto out. We need to take a picture of the woman sitting on the bench in the in the white on the left and the pic and the woman on the right sitting on the bench. Both of them have got cigarettes, not fags of course, cigarettes. And we will get another achievement called break time for that. So it was the woman sitting on the bench on the left in white and the woman sitting on the right bench. Make sure to get those two in. Here is all the main and bonus objectives to do, so let's crack on with it. So uh, just get your standard uh, lens out and take a picture of the XCF symbol right there. Again, you'll have to go a little bit closer if it doesn't work. What are you sitting like that for? You need wee wees. Go for a goddamn wee. Not on my car, bro. So take a picture of the word XCF. Then what we can do is turn around and take a picture of the two vans. So, well, there they are. Let's take a picture of the two vans. Lovely. All right, what we're doing is going... At the sort of bo uh, top left-hand corner, at the bottom, we need to go into our wide-angle lens and take a picture of the two cats. So make sure ahead, make sure to go ahead and do that. So that'll be the next bounty. Plus, pick up the film. Make sure to pick up the first film there. After this, we're going to head up the stairs. There's going to be another little bit of underground that we can go into. Basically, in the same place, just to the right. Not there. That's where the cats are. But the next bit of underground. And we are going to grab another missable achievement right here. So head to this little part with all the graffiti. Get right into the corner. Make sure you've got the wide angle lens on. And we can take a picture. And that should give us the achievement. Uh, graffiti every day for... And also gives you a bounty complete. But you need to take a photo of five spray cans using the wide angle lens. Plus the word to Puna. Then, then we can grab up the next film by the spray uh, paint. The third film is going to be by those next... Just don't leave just yet. Turn back around. Nope, don't go too far. Don't go too far. The third film. For some reason, I got completely lost on this bit. But there it is. Right by the bucket of paint and spray cans is the third film. Wow. What's up, bro? You are looking mighty fine. God damn, dog. Next film is by this spray can with these two cinder blocks. Make sure to pick up film number four out of eight is what you should have. Then, as soon as we get up here, what we're going to do is get number five and six. The fifth one is on the top right there, and the sixth one is on the bench. Take a, po take a photo of your group of friends. So, basically, just stand here, take a picture of your uh, friends, and you should. Now, for some reason, I somehow managed to do it earlier on, um, but it didn't work. I, I don't know how. I can't remember taking a picture of them, but that is how you get the group shot of the photo of your friend's bonus objective anyway. So, just take a picture of those guys dancing and that'll be that head down to the bottom uh, to the right there to find film number seven just underneath the bench and then from here what we can do is go all the way back past the van toranga toranga lila and we're going all the way to the back here and heading up the steps yeah for some reason even walking up steps is a bit of a chore sometimes a bit of a finicky chore which well that sounds about like me in real life as well next we're going to get the postcard here it is so again, make sure to press the start button and then the X button to see exactly what you need. Instead of just jumping up and down for some reason, what I were, or like I was doing. Now you have to get the um, words where it says R-A-N-G in it. So again, anything uh, more above and uh, below doesn't work. 
So as you can see, it didn't work that time, so you have to get it where it says RANG on the left, the big letters right there. So, yep. Yep, that time, that time it worked. <laughs> Again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, like I said, it at least it at least it doesn't uh, crash on you like something else that we all know again, which I won't mention anymore. Right, we're going to jump down. Again, I'm just taking a couple of pictures now just to get the um, money earned. There it is, $190 earned. And on the back of this car, the number 55, Carlos Sainz, is the all film found. That's the 8th out of 8th film. So now, that should be pretty much it. If we have a look, uh, press the start button there to view all the bounties. Should all be good. Now we can just deliver the parcel. And life is... Well, life is sweaty. And life is going strong. But... And again, press the start button, obviously, to uh, get the menu through the menu quicker. We'll get the sports achievement for getting the sports lens, which we never use. Bang tidy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I gotta, again, i got to apologise about the speed that we're going. It's mainly for the speed running achievement as well. Uh, and that's why we're just constantly going and constantly going nuts. But uh, here we are then. We're back to Otomo Sizlak Thai. Mo, what's a Mo Thai? Right, first thing we're going to be doing then, as we see we are battling with giant aliens, we're going to grab another missable achievement here. So, if you can not fall and actually get up the wood of the wooden plank, you'd be a terrible pirate, by the way. Oh, I would be. We need to take a picture of this weird tentacle creature, but we need to put the exposure and at least the saturation, I think, all the way up. So, I put the exposure and the saturation all the way to the right, press finish. Again, get don't save the image to the gallery. God damn, that's annoying. And we'll get the Unseen Horror Achievement. But of course, we're a photographer, so we're fine. Right, jump behind you. Next to this fire pit is where we're going to get the next postcode. Or postcard, sorry. So there's the postcard shot. So it's just as long as you've got the fire burning brightly in the bottom left of the picture, you should be able to grab that one. Lovely. Right, from here then, we're just going to turn around and we're going to take a picture of these like little arrows and things in the background there. That should be the, ne the 10 green Ken lights done. The chem lights are like the little arrows and stuff like that, so plenty to go around. Take a picture of the two body bags. They're not going to make a delicious soup, are they? That's to get another bounty done. And then from here, what we're going to do, turn around. And we need to not get touched by the technical again, uh, at all. Or it doesn't kill us, it just respawns us. So come up here and then jump on the bags on the right-hand side. Keep going until you see the bottom arrow there. And that'll get us our first out of six films couple of things we're going to do here as well. Take a picture. You need to get quite close up with boom, boom, boom. Boomers, gammons, yes, all of those that, hey, everyone should go back to their own country. Eh. Those types of boomers. Um, <laughs> the word boomer is what I'm thinking of. Let's take a picture of the word boomer. Turn around and we're going to pick up the next film just by the generator. Plus, we have to take a picture of said generator. So, again, get your camera out. It's, it's your job, bro. Take goddamn picture of the generator. You know, while you're being shot at and bummed by aliens and stuff. Well, that's a lot of people's favourite ways to go. And it'll come soon. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Right, jump up on the door. Go in between the gap of this fire here, over to the other side. Be careful. Jump down in this gap and uh, go on the wooden plank right there. But be careful. Pick up the third film. And then what we can do is turn around. Now, you can actually just kill yourself. I end up just jumping down Assassin's Creed suicide style. Until we spawn into the um, next area. So rather than just go all the way back. Respawn yourself. Because obviously respawn yourself is a lot friendlier version than the other one. Right. We need to take a couple of pictures here. We need to take a picture of this guy uh, with your wide angle lens. Who looks like he's bleeding out. But it actually looks like he's being uh, he's having a happy ending. Um, that's first four day kits done. Take a picture of the guy shooting up there. Make sure you get the penguin in as well to get the group shot. That will also get the two carbine bounty complete. Then pick up the film right next to the, the penguin. Then go up the ramp. Again, take two pictures of these. That uh, that was for me just to get the $80. Now, go to the right ever so slightly. What we're going to do, as you can see there, we've got three targets left and to find the rest of the film canisters. Um, the word boomer. Right back in my day, kids are respectful and didn't rely on technology. Right, we need to take a picture of the skull and the two look demon-looking symbols right there. So you should have the skull on the right and the two demon symbols sort of on the left. So that is how you get the three targets done. Now we just need to grab the final film canister, which is right there, or the final two. One by the boombox, 
and the oil can and the, the one is by the guy on the right shooting. As soon as we're all done, what we can do is just head back up the ramp and take a little breather. Take a... Oh, God damn it, I'm a terrible pirate. Arg! please don't make me walk to Mr. Krabs. Right, press X to deliver the parcel and... Ta-da! We are done. Final pay. Oh, and all it took was, <laughs> you know, aliens to stick things in places. Rip my nips off and stick all alien crap up my nose. Yeah, damn. Anyway, with that done, we will get two achievements there. Fire select mod, huh? Interesting. So we are getting there. Uh, we've got roughly about 20 minutes or so <laughs> left. Um, but it's still fun. Fun on the bun, right? Karang Ahake. Karang Ahake. Kerrang, which is really a terrible music channel these days. Um, anyway, we're going to turn directly around. We're going to get out our telephoto lens. And right there is a picture of the pentagram. Now, I tried to get the focus in. I couldn't get it in. But you can literally just take a picture of the pentagram as it is like that. Um, I think I zoomed it in a little bit as well. Yeah, I just took a picture like that. And, it, and the achievements seem to unlock. So, god damn photo mode. Jeez, I've got loads of unnecessary photos now. But there we go. So, that is how you get the Mystery Pentagram. You have to do it with the telephoto lens, though. And then from here, what we're going to do is go down the Karang Ahaki train. All the way around until we get to the postcard. Now, this one took me... This one was very finicky. This one took me a number of attempts. We have to get the American-style fast food sign right at the very top. Um, without the other American flag in it, I think. Or just a little bit. That is how I got it anyway. Little bit of the top American flag there and the rest of the fast food sign. So, from here we're going to go out of the train. We're going to jump. If you can make it successfully, of course, then I will pay you $20 in love. And mustache hairs. And then what we can do is get up on the train, go past the old seagulls, and we're going to take a picture. Make sure to get all five in. There should be a little one on the right as well. So you have to get all five seagulls. So there we go. That is all five seagulls done. So when all five seagulls are done, they've done nicking your chips and then crapping on your head when you walk in. Because seagulls are the evilest of birds. They are douchebags. Um, <laughs> we can just jump back down. Now we are going to take a picture. Now this one did take a little bit of time for me. We have to take a picture of an on red flashing light. But you have to get it just as you go past it. If you take a picture... Um, or at least zoomed in. So, again, to get the train going, if it's not going, just have a look on the outside and it should start moving. Now, taking a picture there, as you can see, did not work. So, again, press the start button, turn your photo mode off, I would highly advise doing, because you can just keep taking pictures, spamming the right trigger. It doesn't work there, but it works just... Yeah, just as you get it. Just as you go past it. So, I'm not sure if it's worth zooming in. Just to see if that makes a difference or if you have to get it just as you go past. Uh, anyway, with that one done, take a picture of the group there on the bottom right-hand corner of the table. So make sure that is the group shot done. So again, Apolly, I just apologize was a bit behind there. I was just explaining about that on-red flashing light. So we need to get a picture of five American flags. America! Flab, yeah! Come in again to save the... Right, there we go. So we got one, two, three... And that should be it, as long as we get a picture of just of the woman's head in right there. That'll be the five American flags one's done. Go towards the um, dining area and take a picture of that with the penguin in it as well to get the two coffee and one down light. We're going to get two in one here. Just take a picture of your fisheye. Get your fisheye camera out. Take a picture here and you get the three sauce, three cereal and 20 sticky notes. I don't know how, but we've got it. But make sure to do it with your fisheye lens right there. Next, what we're going to do is take a picture of the numbers two and three. So we need to get out the telephoto lens, stand right here, and as you can see, there's just little place cards on the table, number two, number three. That is how you get the numbers, well, two and three. Jim Carrey's gonna be making another film about that, the number 23. <gasps> anyway, back to the dining area. Take a, grab the first film that is found just next to the uh, son and her mother, or his mother. The second film next to the old guy on the table. So that'll be two out of five films. Go into the kitcheny area, and the third film is going to be just next to the sink. Fourth film directly behind you, next to the Bean Ninja Expresso. And the fifth one is right where our friends are. That is on the table, so that one is all done. 
take, obviously, have a look at the start menu just to make sure you've got absolutely everything. If you've got everything, let's finish. God damn. Please don't hate me, right? If, if you're thinking this dude's going too fast and I hate him and why is he still making YouTube videos and his voice is annoying and uh, his mustache is terrible, I've tried growing it. Um, anyway, just don't hate me, okay? Because I know this is <laughs> I know this is a little bit fast, but it's one of those we just have to just smash out, unfortunately, due to the 10 minutes. <sighs> so, welcome to El Metro. First thing we're going to do is take a picture of the word squid. Just behind the two people right there is the word squid. You should be able to get that with the... Um... Oh, let's just turn photo mode off again. Yeah, very annoying. So, you can either... Uh... I think what I ended up just doing here is using the um, telephoto lens, probably easier. Zoom in a little bit or you should actually be fine, just make sure it's in focus. Right, turn around, but before going up the steps, take a two picture of dude and son with dude with two face masks right there. Now we can go all the way up the stairs. Hello! Someone's just dancing for some reason. Find a film in this bin. Oh, that's our friends of course. Right, now we need to go into standard, so get your standard lens out. What you have to do to take a pic to get the group shot bonus objective, you have to back yourself right into the corner and then take a picture. Because it ain't working like that, mate. So back yourself right into the corner, get all three of them in, and that is how we get that. Now we can just jump down the stairs. Hiya! And jump down the next set of stairs as well. Right. A couple of things we're going to do here with Spinny McDouchebag. We are going to get our fisheye, no we're not, we're going to get a wide angle, sorry, and take a picture where it says the UN. That basically gives us the six enlist posters done. From here, we are going to get the next postcard as well. When it said the day, the two posters, the day the earth died, make sure to just get the um, lamppost just sort of in between, roughly about there, or more on the left hand side poster. That's the postcard done. We're going to pick up the next film, uh, right next to these bins. And then what we're going to do is also take a picture of... God damn, man, that's a nice face. Get your standard lens out. Take a picture of this guy. <laughs> he looks like a face, uh, well, a puppy wouldn't lick, to be honest. Bless him. So that's glasses and trilby done. Go down, have a look at this UN. Bit on the table. There is going to be the next film. For some reason, I'm jumping up for no particular reason. So that should be three out of ten films. Now we can go back and head up these next set of steps. Right next to the train. There's going to be a fourth film, make sure not to go past that, sort of halfway in between the stairs. Very jumpy today, aren't I? Right, from here, the fifth film is underneath the bench. S turn around the corner, the sixth film is going to be on this, just next to this guitar case, on the shelf. And the seventh is going to be just in front of us, in that, just in front of the pot plant. Right, take a picture of this bird, it is a kiwi. Um, the kiwi painting. Oh, I mind, it's a kiwi! So, take a picture of that, then we can go back, but before leaving, we need to take a picture specifically of these three ferns and a bench. So, take it from here, just with the person on the right hand side, until we get the three ferns and a bench, bounty completo. Turn around, jump up onto the train. <sighs> We're going to go down this plank of wood. We're going to grab the next film, that's 8 out of 10, completely found. Shove that where the sun don't shine, pal. Let's jump over to the next train. Hopefully, you can just reach that. Uh, have a look, this is what we should be doing, we need to still take a photo of a boombox and spray can, get the film, 10 film canisters and earn 150 dollar dues. So, jump to the left onto this container and into this enclosed space, this is where number 9, the ninth film is found. Then we can just jump up all the way, <sighs> eventually we can jump up all the way, and keep going straight. What you have to do, you have to do exactly as I do here, if you go into the train tracks, you will respawn, so make sure to get up onto the fence here, and then jump and just stay on the left hand side. If you go on the train tracks, you'll die, respawn and come back. And you have to come back to this area. So let us buy this boombox and spray can. Make sure to take a picture and also grab the final uh, film. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Man, I like these guys. But I, I need a couple of drinks to dance first. <laughs> and I still dance like an absolute white person. I am just super white. You know how uh, spices? Yeah, salt and pepper are too spicy for me. That's how white I am. Uh, right, anyway, what we need to do now is just get enough money to earn $150. And the easiest way that I've done that was to take a picture of, uh, well, Chunky Elvis on the wall right there. Uh, for some reason, it's giving me $13 a time. So just keep doing that. And then 
right back in our starting position is where we find the final... Uh, that is where we end the level. As you can see, just next to the two face masks, dude, is the red square to finish. So take a picture of Fat Elvis until we get the bonus objective completo. And then that is enough -o. Hey, somebody's got big crabs on the floor there, right there. Yeah. Anyway, deliver the parcel. Make sure that you've got everything. Deliver the parcel. And we move on. Right, what are we on now? 40 bloody minutes, meh. Well, I never. So we've roughly got about eight minutes-ish now. Um, we've got about seven minutes of uh, gameplay left because we are onto the final uh, final level. Ma wow 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 view view again. Again, don't hate me because <laughs> because I can't uh, pronounce things. It's you know it's just what happens. Right, where we start, we're going to go up onto the graffitied wall. Obviously, this is the very first area that we were in, but it's now being taken over by robots and the thing. Whatever that is. We're going to go up on the, to here, on next to this wooden pallet. Now, to get this missable achievement, what we need to do is get a picture of all three robots' transformers. But we need to get our fisheye out. So, get a picture of the fisheye that you've got the three robots on the left and the thing on the right. But the achievement, I think, I don't know if it works, if it's shooting or if it's not. Either way, that's how you get the, the showdown achievement. Uh, so make sure you've got all the three robots on the left and the thing on the right hand side. That's how you unlock that achievement. Right, what we're going to do is go into our uh, ultra wide lens right here. Take a picture of the starting area and you will get the 15 candles, 4 boom boxes and the 4 robot bounties complete. But make sure you go into ultra wide lens and take a picture of uh, our friends just dancing down there. So that's how you get the two uh, bounties all done. The four robots, like I said, and the 15 candles and the four boot boxes. Right. Jump over to where the postcode little symbol is right here. Turn around. Again, just take a little look. You should have the creepy Joker face, if you want to call it that, on the left-hand side. Uh, that obviously didn't work, so uh, let's just try again, shall we now? There you go. Zoom in if necessary. And there we go. That is postcard completor. <sighs> Right, jump down. What we're going to do then is, we're going to, well, I end up accidentally grabbing something else first. I'm going for two skateboards. I accidentally grab something else. So the how we do this, we're going to get right into the corner as much as we can on the edge. Um, I'm going to end up taking, uh, going into the standard mode. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is actually get a picture of the two skateboards. Get the $150 earned because I've just gone nuts with it. Um, but what you need to do then is take a picture of our friend basically dancing on the left-hand side. So take a picture of the pallet, and for whatever reason, we get the two work lights and two cinder blocks uh, quest done. So that is how we get that one there. So make sure you've got the pallet in the middle to get that one. Next, we can take a picture of the two skateboards. Get your telephoto lens out. And as you can see, the two, the two skateboards are just in view either side of our lens, of our camera. And then from here, what we can do is just head back towards the graffitied area. Now we go. I am trying to jump up, if you can believe it. But since that's not working, we'll just go over here. Go onto the graffitied wall. Jump up onto the platform, onto the uh, wood on the left. And then turn around. Jump up onto the wooden pallet. Every now and then, my bomb falls apart. Because I had some Indian food. Right, jump up here to grab the la the first out of six film and the second out of six film. This is where we got the Jet Fighters achievement at the very beginning of the game, of course. And then from here, what we can do is take a picture of the two disposable cameras on your left. There they are. So make sure to grab those. Now what we're going to do is get the uh, three lanterns done. But the way we have to do this is ca very carefully jump over to the right where that uh, lady baby is sitting. Then we can just turn around, <laughs> in fact go right to the very end as much as you can, then we can turn around, get your telephoto license out, license, telephoto lens out, and what you'll see is the one lantern directly in front of us and the uh, two just in sight right there as well. So. That will be the three lanterns done. Now we just need to take a picture of three tires, four pallets, and then the six film canisters and the photo of our pally pals. So jump down. What we're going to do is take a picture right on the very edge, but behind the fence. And with our friends sitting right in the middle, that is where we get the three tires and four pallets ones done. 
Now, we've just got to earn some dollar. Oh, no, we've earned the dollar, haven't we? Now we need to jump up. What we're going to do then is jump up. Yep, right there. And we need to go back onto the wooden board where our friend was sitting for the next film lens. Or the next film. There it is, just sitting right next to her. So that is the third out of six done. The final two are right in the starting area right there. But I we're going to go just jump down right here. Not all the way down, because the next film is right there behind you, next to the lantern. Now we can jump down, and basically, we're just going to make a little break for it. We're going to go all the way up, up and away. I love how the robot's not shooting us, by the way. It's muchly appreciated there, Mr. Transformer Dude. Right, uh, now we, of course, to get back up here, we need to go onto the graffiti wall. <laughs> of course, don't be such a dong. There we go. Dong free. Right, the next film is where our friends are dancing, is film number five, and film number six is right next to the boom box directly in front of us. Now what we gotta do is take a picture of our pals. So once more, we ain't getting it from here, bro. So, don't even try. By the way, I wish it was that money to make, uh, easy to make money, sorry. <laughs> I wish it was that money to make easy. Uh, yeah, just take a couple of pictures. Here's a tenner, here's 13 quid, lovely. Right. So what we need to do then is, right, we need to go to the very, very end, basically. We need to get our fisheye angle out, and there we go. So right on the end, where our friend is dancing at the bottom of the shot, that's how you get the group shot. With that one, we can now deliver the parcels, and ta-da! Would you like ding, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done, ding, that is done. Now, we are able to get the hover boots, which um, helps us jump a little bit fa uh, farther, a little bit higher, sorry. My English is just as good as my Spanish today, it's non-existent. <laughs> um, but this basically is not a level. All we have to do is go across the planks on the water right here, take a picture of the big transformer dude, and that basically ends the game there. So, really, I don't know if it's a good ending, if it's a bad ending. Eh... Uh, we don't really know, but anyway, we've got the we've got the majority of the achievements, so take a picture there. It kind of looks like a ninja robot, which is even spookier, because they can do stuff to you. <laughs> no man or woman can, so uh, yeah. Well, that's Generational Warfare done anyway, that's for taking the last photo, basically completing the end of the game. Now what we're going to do, um, you should be able to just press this start button there to skip the credits, but thank you so much. For everyone who made this game, it was actually very fun and very chilled. So these two achievements, the Hidden Pyramid and Birdmaster, we couldn't get earlier because we didn't have the jump ability and we didn't have the fisheye lens. So, as soon as we're into this bit, we're going to select the level and we're going to go to the third level, which is the Walled City. Wally. Willy Wally. Willy Warmers. Which, of course, is Catty Catty. Thank you for wallying my willy, Catty Catty. So, let's go get these final two achievements and then take a break and have a nap, is it? Right, so from here, let's just keep going straight. And, oh my gosh, so if you if you press uh, the A, A button three times, that's how you jump, but very high. From here then, again, just like we did with the 15 candles, get right into the corner, ultra wide, take a picture of that. And that is how you get the uh, Birdmaster achievement. So it could be a wide angle fisheye uh, lens as well. I just went ultra wide because that seemed to work for me. But get right in the corner and do that. So then from here then, what we're going to do is keep going straight. Where we see these uh, few little doodles on the wall. Hey Homer, I can see your doodle. Shut up Flanders. Uh, <laughs> God damn, I love the Simpsons. Right, heading up the stairs. Back to where we got the postcode achievement earlier. Or the postcard, sorry. Right there. Turn around, jump down into this little bit of train, get your standard lens out. And then that is going to be the final achievement of the game. There's the pyramid, it's literally cinder blocks with a couple of candles on them, job done. <sighs> oh my god, now I can take a break and have a drink! But there we go then guys and gals, so thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the game, it was a very chill game, I did enjoy it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the gui guide and that it helped as well. Again, I do apologise that we sort of just smashed through it, went through it kind of quickly. Um, hopefully it didn't take away from the experience and I hope that the guide still helped even though. Um, but again, if it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, you know the drill by now. Thank you so, so much for everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. You guys and gals are such legends! And with that one, the being said, I will see you in the next Game Pass. Ga 
Game Pass game, then, guys and gals. <laughs> Big love! <laughs> and El Drinko.